Alrighty. Hello everyone. I'm with Big Pezza. He's on his new, well, new, new to him, uh, Honda Shadow 125. So yeah, it's very nice. Anyway, um, it's Wednesday and we'd, I'd, I'd normally be going to um, bike night if it was a night that I could go to bike night. So um, yeah, I'd normally go to bike night at Lumi's, but uh, today I'm going to go to Rikers for a change. Right, here we are. That's a lot. I thought, I thought it'd be a lot busier than this. Hmm, okay. And welcome to a review of the X-Wing handlebar phone mount thingy. Uh, basically, this one is about £10 off Amazon at the minute. I'll if I find a link, I'll put it in the description. For the, for the money, it's not a bad mount. It is fairly sturdy and it'll support uh, most smartphones. There we go. You get a bit of rotation there for some reason. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty solid and easy to adjust. You've just got this one uh, thing there which you undo and then that gives you all flexibility to move it around in all sorts of directions. And what does it come with in the box? In the box you get the mount, uh, the cable which is all attached which you hook it to your battery um, and let's say it's obviously you can see basically everything you see here the mount and the uh, little mounting arm there that is everything you get. So all you need to do is find somewhere on your bike, such as this, where to uh, where to mount it, and that's and it. Little then, USB charger. Then yeah, you get the USB uh, port in the side here. Now my only real criticism of this is this rubber thing falls out quite easily. I thought I'd lost it um, after the Cornwall trip. I came back to find it just lying on the floor outside my garage, <laughs> and that was it. So yeah, you got the USB thing there, and you have got a tiny uh, switch to turn it on and off. So when you have it. In the on position, there is a blue LED light inside there, so you, you can see that it is on and giving power. This hooks straight up to the battery, so yeah, you, you do have to remember to turn it off, otherwise it'll drain your battery. Um, but the way around that is to wire it into uh, something off the ignition. And how much does this cost again? Uh, I think it was 9.99 off Amazon. The RAM mount equivalent is around. 50, what did we say? 50 about pound. Fifth, yeah, about 50 quid for the RAM. Because it's 20 quid for that bit. Plus another tenner for that bit, plus the mounting options, which can be 10 to 15 pounds. Yep. Of course, the quality oh, yes, is superior is on the RAM. On the RAM. <laughs> but but that, if you're just on a budget, you want just something that you can stick your phone on for uh, sat nav. Uh, and how is it when you're reading the sat nav at speed? Uh, you can see the map and you can see the route, no problem. Uh, at high speed, it is a little bit wobbly. Not overly wobbly but enough that you won't be able to read any text so if it's coming up with traffic alerts or something like that you may struggle to actually see what it's saying but the actual map and the like the you know, blue route line yeah you can see that no problem and you use this on your trip down to yeah yeah I use this on um, the Cornwall trip I have no real problems with it charge your phone okay did you on that yep. or not yeah I had the phone charging up through there um, funny thing you won't see it in the video because this was cut from the uh, uh, the edit uh, I had a just a short USB leak going in from there and then into my phone, which was uh, quite a nice cable actually because it was USB to the Apple Lightning connector, the old Apple um, 
connector, uh, USB C, USB B, what well, it adds everything. Yeah, so it's quite a handy cable to have for like charging things on. Um, my phone was fully charged, so I decided to leave it unplugged. Um, that when we got into a bit of high speed on dual carriageway, the cable vibrated itself out and it went flying, and I lost it. Oh dear! <laughs> so secure your cables. <laughs> That's the main thing. And um, the only problem I found with the iPhone uh, SE or iPhone 5 is when it's in the mount, in pretty much the position you'd want it, this actually catches the volume button. So it'll, yeah, it's holding it holds the volume it tight button. In, so you have to make sure you get it either just below or just above. And I think between them you can just about get it. Uh, but that is probably too high because that's not really. It's not really got it on that bottom corner there, so it won't be that secure. But yeah, otherwise, yeah. So for 10 quid, really good value quid, for money. Yeah, 10 quid, worth it. Well, it's a nice evening. It was pretty uh, pretty quiet here. Made a nice change instead of going to Lumi's. Uh, we've filmed a little review of this mount. Hopefully that turned out all right. Lying down, you go for a lie down on that thing, it is very laid back. <laughs> oh, we might have some drone shots from this evening as well. Yes, Pez, Pez has got this nice little uh, 100 pound drone with a 720p camera. Um, for 100 quid, it's not a bad little thing. I'm considering getting one because. Uh, as much as I'd like a Mavic or something that looks really good, um, I don't think I could justify the sort of money that they are because I won't use it that often. Just be handy just for a few little extra uh, shots and stuff in videos. I suppose I could uh, use it for some of my yeah, walk around bits of bike reviews and things like that. So yeah, I might get one. He's lost me. <laughs> I'm hiding in this blind spot. 